the surface again, Mom. Again? I must have told you a hundred times. One more time, please. Your sister Mariana will be home at any moment. I'm sure she'll tell you all about it when she gets here. But I can't wait that long. All right, all right. Sit down and I'll tell you. The surface is a place far, far above us where the water ends. Instead, there's a sky made of air called the sky. Although we can't swim in the air, there only special skyfish can. Skyfish? Yes, they're called birds, and they live in reefs that grow on the sky's floor where they sing beautiful songs. I wish I could hear a skyfish sing. <laughs> you will, dear, when you're older. How much older? Well, Mariana got to go see it for her birthday today. Mariana gets to do everything first. That's because she's the oldest. It's tradition for a young mermaid to visit the surface when she turns 15. Next year, Corella will be old enough. And Undyne the year after that. Followed by Laura Lee the next year and Alana the year after that. And then can I go? Yes, Melody. Then you can go. That'll be forever. <gasps> Mariana! Melody! Welcome back, darling. Mother. What did you see? What did you see? Oh, it was amazing. I couldn't possibly tell you everything. Now I'll leave you two to talk. Were there skyfish there? They were, but the most beautiful thing that I saw was the moon. The moon? Oh, yes. It's this big ball of silver light high up in the sky, and it just shines down. I laid on the waves for hours just watching its light dance along the water. Wow, it must have been so bright. No, it was mostly dark, and there were hundreds of tiny twinkly lights up in the sky. How could it be dark if there were so many lights? It's hard to explain. The light moves differently up there. I can't wait until I get to see it for myself. Oh, I'm sure you'll love whatever it is that you get to see. Don't you go looking for the same thing that I saw. Why not? It sounds like, like the most beautiful thing I've ever heard of. Oh, it was. But there could be something even more amazing out there that you might miss. There could? Maybe. But if you don't go looking for it, you'll never know. When you get back, you tell me what you saw. It'll be like we each had a different piece of the puzzle. Corella, welcome back. <laughs> Thanks, little sis. What did you see? What did you see? No, you wouldn't believe it. The whole sky was gold and these huge fluffy things floated over me, a pink, purple, and orange. What? But last year, Mariana said the sky was black and full of little lights. <laughs> Not when I was there. There was one giant golden light, though. And it sat on top of the water, and I tried to swim to it, but it sank down underneath the water before I could reach it. I wonder what color the sky will be when I get to see it. <sighs> well, don't just spend all your time looking at the sky. I spent my whole day up there just chasing that golden light when there was so much more I wish I could have seen. Like what? Like the shore? I stayed out at sea, but in the distance, I could see the place where the water meets the sky floor. The land looked like it went on forever. I would have gotten closer to it if I hadn't been so committed to following that light. Don't worry. When I'm old enough, I can go to the shore. And then I can come back and tell you all about it. <sighs> I'm dying. What was your bridge to the surface like? Oh my gosh. It was so hot. That light Corella mentioned was there, but it was so high up in the sky that I could never have chased it like she did. And it's light burned my face. Oh no, are you all right? I'm fine. I just had to dive underwater every once in a while. Luckily, I found these shallow paths where the water ran between the sky floor. Mom told me about paths like that. She says they're called rivers. Uh-huh, yeah. And it had the, the sky floor on both sides and everything was so green. And the ground, it rose and fell like waves. <gasps> oh, and then the skyfish, they sang and swam between the trees. It was so beautiful. And guess what? I saw people on the surface. You saw people on the surface? Yeah, but they don't have fins. They have legs instead of tails. And they walk around the sky floor like crabs. <laughs> <laughs> How funny. <laughs> it's silly, you would have loved it, little sis. They sang and danced so beautifully, and when they did, their arms and legs moved around the sky floor so gracefully. Oh. I wish I could see that. Uh, then you should look for a ship. A ship? Uh-huh. 
mom says that's how the surface people get around on the water. Since they don't have fins, they can't dive down, but they make these vessels out of wood that skate across the waves. Oh, I hope I can find one. I hope you do too, Elsa. I'm back, Melody. Lure me. How was it? Did you see any surface people? No, no, I was too nervous to swim to the shore. <laughs> the air over the open ocean looked as beautiful as anything our sisters described. It was like being in a bell of glass. All the whales and dolphins breached around me and blew out their spouts like a hundred little fountains. <laughs> what about ships? Did you see any of those? Uh, I might have, but they might have just been sky fish. It was Hard to tell from so far away. <laughs> Aren't you sad that you haven't seen anything you hadn't before? No, I had a wonderful time. <laughs> I don't think I would have liked the land as much. But now you'll never know. Well, I wouldn't have known anyway. I only had so much time up there. No matter what I saw, I'd miss something. There's no sense in dwelling on what could have been when you could just be happy with what is. That makes sense when you put it that way. Only two more years till you get to visit the surface. You should think about how you want to spend your time there. I want to have a story to tell my sisters. Something they'll all love hearing about just as much as I love hearing what you guys saw. Then that's what you should look for. It doesn't matter if you catch the golden light or see surface people or a ship or if you just relax on the shore. What matters is that you have a good trip to the surface and you come back with a good story. You're right. Thank you so much, Laura Lee. Alana, what happened? What did you see? It was so cold. Everything was so cold. And there were these, these little flecks of white that floated down from the sky. And then when they hit the surface of the water, they disappeared. What? Yeah. No one told me about anything like that before. Yeah, me neither. And, and that's not all. There were these huge, giant white shapes. They were itty bitty up top, but underneath the water, they were so much bigger. Wow, I wonder why no one else saw them. Maybe because nobody else went when it was cold. Nobody else said it was, that was gonna be this cold. Did you go near the shore? No, I couldn't see it. It was, everything was too murky and gray, but uh, I did see one of those things that those surface people used to, to ride across on the water. You saw ships! Yeah! I did, but I couldn't get close to any of them. They were really afraid of those big white things, and they went really fast and far around them. Whoa. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I couldn't have gotten a better look for you, sis. At least it'll only be one more year till you get to go for yourself. I can't believe five years have gone by so fast. <laughs> Me either. Happy birthday, Melody! Thank you. Oh, it feels like only a few minutes ago you were a little girl begging me to tell you stories of the surface. And now look at you! <laughs> it makes me so proud to see all my daughters grown up! Mom, <laughs> you're embarrassing me. <sighs> all right, I'll stop reminiscing. <laughs> Are you ready to see the surface for yourself? I am. I know exactly what I'm going to do. And what's that? I'm going to find a ship so I can see all the surface people writing on about and tell you and all my sisters about it. Oh, I thought you wanted to see Skyfish and uh, hear them sing. That was years ago, Mom. After hearing all the amazing things my sister saw, I want to be able to tell them something they haven't seen before. No one has had a chance to get very close to one. That's perhaps for the best. What do you mean? D the surface people, uh, the humans they're called, they can be dangerous. What? But Undyne saw some. She didn't say anything about that. She said they sang and danced on the sky floor. She did, did she? Yes. She said they played and moved gracefully on their legs. And then I would love to see them for myself. I see. Melody, it is your birthday and it is your decision what to do when you visit the surface. But you should be very careful about getting too close to those surface people. Why? What's so dangerous about them? You wouldn't understand if I told you. You just have to trust me. It is not safe for you to be seen by a human. There must be a reason. Why can't you just tell me? <sighs> Melody, uh, listen to me. Uh, I know you find these humans fascinating and they will be equally fascinated by you. 
and it will not end well for either of you if you catch each other's affection. What won't end well? For either of who? What does that even mean? I told you you wouldn't understand. Just promise me if you go looking for humans, you will stay out of sight. All right. All right, fine. I'll stay out of sight. Can I go now? Yes, you may. Fine day. Couldn't have asked for a better day to celebrate your prince's birthday. Oh, smooth now, I. But you never know when the weather might take a turn, your highness. Especially in these waters. And what makes these waters different, sailor? Can this be Poseidon's territory, highness? The king of the sea don't take too kindly to trespasses. We best be thanking him for the fine day and be on our way before we wear out our welcome. Sounds like a bunch of silly sailor superstitious nonsense to me. D Superstition, Highness! Not a year goes by when one of the crew don't see a sea serpent or a mermaid or some such on this route. Mermaid? I thought they only existed in stories. Bah! Mermaids are as real as me! And a great deal realer than yourself! <laughs> no offense. They ain't been sighted much as of late, but our time was you couldn't go more than a league offshore without seeing one. You really think we could see a mermaid today? Don't leave this voyage be cursed, your highness! Cursed? Huh. I think it would be a blessing to see a mermaid. Oh, she shouldn't be saying such things, highness! It'll be bringing terrible luck upon us! Now, what bad luck could possibly come from seeing a mermaid? <laughs> Worse than you think! <laughs> Worse yet, if she sees... yourself! Would there be something uh, wrong with that? Aye, it wouldn't end well for either of you. Sounds like a bunch of baloney to me. Oh, yeah? Well, there's your superstition right there! Where? Look! Where? Th there! There? Th no, 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 there! There! N no, there! There? I, that's all, I just... Oh! Now I see. I told you! You're trying to make a fool out of me. I seen that, my mate. Well, sure you have. And I'm a monkey's uncle. Uh, yeah? No! Th then why just say it? It's a figure of... Ah, forget it. Th here, Emmy, that that's my glass. I'll find her again. I don't think so. You're just gonna use it to mess with me again. Uh, no, I ain't. I just let me see it for no. a second. Get away from me, you silly sailor. Let me see it! No. We're going down, Your Highness! We, we had a show! We, we have to abandon ship! Oh, Neptune's feared he's out cold! I told him he shouldn't be talking about mermaids! Oh, what do I do now? Like as not, you're awful lucky that mermaid found you. Mermaid? The, right over there. Where? Huh. Now that's odd. She was there a moment ago. I, I, I do remember a mermaid. 
I was talking to the ship's lookout. And he told me he saw her, and then I heard the most beautiful voice call out. That must have been her. And everything goes black. Come on, let's get you inside. Oh no, oh no, oh no. They saw me and everything went wrong. Just like Mom said it happened. She's gonna be so mad if she finds out. What am I gonna tell her and my sisters? Hello, Melody! Mom. Hello, Mom. Welcome back, darling. <laughs> oh, mwah, mwah, what, what, what did you see? What did you see? So, you know how I really wanted to find a ship and see humans up close? Uh-huh. Well, I did. I think one of them was the prince. The other one kept calling him Your Highness. Really? They didn't see you, did they? Of course not, Mom. I told you I'd stay out of sight. Mm-hmm. So what happened next? Well, they were going on a birthday cruise, and they got so distracted, their ship crashed into the shore. Oh, that's awful. Well, it's a good thing they got the prince to the shore. I mm. thought you said you stayed out of sight. Well, I waited until the other humans said swim away. And this prince? He looked like he was asleep. His eyes were closed and he was still breathing. One of the other humans said he was out cold. Mm. Go on. Well, I took him to the shore. I made sure there was no other humans around. And I laid him on the sky floor. Then I hid behind a rock and waited until another human had found the prince. And you are absolutely sure none of them saw you? Of course I'm sure. Well, that prince is sure lucky you were there. I guess I got a good story out of it after all. Mm -hmm. So it would seem. So, Meredith, did he look like Clark Gable? Mariana, would you allow me to speak to your sister alone for a moment? Of course, Mother. You'll tell me more later, right? Mm -hmm. See you later, Mariana. You wouldn't lie to me, Mom. would you, Melody? Mom, I... And just please, if you tell me no human saw you, I will believe you. But if any did, it is very important that you tell me. I... Yes, they did. Then why did you try to tell me that they didn't? Because I promised I would stay out of sight. And did you? Well, I tried. I was afraid that might be the case. Thank you for telling me, though I wish I hadn't had to force it out of you. It's partly my own fault. I should have taught you better. Maybe if I taught you more about humans, you wouldn't be so eager to see one. What? Or to save them. You think I just should have just let him drown? That's not what I'm saying. It is though. If I hadn't warned them, then they would have wrecked anyway. And if you had brought this human prince to shore where no other humans were around, one would have found him. You don't know that. Maybe not, but if you knew what you were risking and what you risked it for, you might have made a different choice. I don't want him to die. <laughs> Nothing can stop that, Melody. Humans are very fragile creatures. You saved him from drowning, but he will still live less than a hundred years. Only one hundred years? That's such a short time. It is for us, but it is the only life they know, and it's all the more precious for it. That just, that's not fair. There must be a reason. It's a blessing that they don't live as long as we do. They're born knowing to make the most of their short time on the surface. That's why we send our daughters up there for one day, to teach them that skill that comes so naturally to humans. That just sounds like an excuse. If it's so great, would you want to be one? It doesn't matter. I am what I am. Only magic could change that. And I will not seek such things out. Magic? Of the darkest sort. I don't know much about it myself. Only the sea witch does. And she is a dangerous woman. I wouldn't speak to her if I were you. You'd do better to forget about that human and focus on the here and now. Fine. I'm sorry to put this all on you. This should be a time for you to celebrate. It's fine. I think I've had enough excitement for one day. I understand. I'll leave you to rest. I love you, Melody. I love you too, Mom.
Thank you for your hospitality, Miss. Oh, no need to thank me, your highness. I'm honored to have you in my home. Oh, just a moment, I'll have something out for you to eat and two shakes. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's really unnecessary. No, don't be silly. What kind of hostess would I be if I didn't offer his royal highness a meal? If you insist. There you are. No need to stand on ceremony. <laughs> Take right in. Thank you. Mm. Oh, you must have been hungry. <laughs> More than I thought. Where were you headed to uh, before your ship wrecked? <laughs> no one in particular. Just off taking a pleasure cruise for my birthday. It's your birthday? Why on earth didn't you say so? And here I am having the prince over for dinner, feeding him a peasant stew on his birthday, no less. This is quite enough. Thank you. <laughs> What a thing to happen on your birthday. Jeez, you could say that again. What a thing to happen on your birthday. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? No, that was, that was really funny, actually. Oh. <laughs> it was amazing, though. Amazing? I thought you would have said terrifying. <laughs> terrifying? Oh, you mean the shipwreck. Well, I suppose it would have been for the sailors, but I can't remember anything. What did you mean then? Seeing the mermaid. You remember her then? Barely. I remember the ship's lookout telling me we saw her. And then she called out to warn us about the shoal. But after that, everything goes black. They say it's bad luck to see a mermaid. Do you believe that? Not really. I saw a mermaid today and it's been the luckiest day of my life. Getting to uh, meet the prince and all. <laughs> I feel very much the same way. You do? Of course. I could have died if she hadn't been there to save me. True enough. <laughs> Maybe she was a lucky mermaid. She certainly seems to have been. All right, well, you're finished up. Uh, come on, we should get you back to the palace. Thank you. You've been really kind, and I appreciate that. Oh, stop. You'll make me blush talking like that. <laughs> Apologies. Come on, let's see if I can return the favor when we get back to the palace. Ah, you finally arrived. You were expecting me? Of course not. I just love seeing people's reactions when I say that. <laughs> you need my help with something, something you can't go to your friends or family about because they wouldn't understand. How do you know that? No! <laughs> because you came to me, dear girl. That's always why people come to me. So, what's the problem? I need to know if it's possible to turn a human into a mermaid. Oh! Now that's one you don't hear every day. Yes, it's possible, but that's not what you're really here for, is it? What do you mean? What I say. Which is more than you'll get from most people! <laughs> Listen, I've been around the pond a few times. Nobody asks for what they really want because <laughs> magic has idea of twisting what you think you want around on you. So yes, I can turn your boyfriend into a mermaid, but it matters why you want me to. Because if you don't know, it won't end well for either of you. He's not my boyfriend. Oh, whatever you say. This boy who's uh, not your boyfriend. Why do you want me to turn him into a mermaid? Well, my sister and I are allowed to go to the surface for one day. When we turn 15. Oh, I did not ask for your backstory, girl. I asked why you wanted me to turn him into a mermaid? I don't want him to die. <laughs> ah! So it's one of those stories, is it? I knew it'd be cliche, but I didn't think it'd be that predictable. Give me a moment. Shh. 
What are you doing? I'm making your potion. What potion? The stop asking foolish questions potion. What's it matter? I just want to know what I'm getting into. You want not your boyfriend to live forever, don't you? Then this is the potion that's going to make that happen. Swim up to the surface where you brought not your boyfriend and drink this. How? Did you know? No, you brought him to the shore after a shipwreck because of course you did. <laughs> You're not my first customer, honey. I know how these things go. What's this going to do? It's going to save not your boyfriend's life. What do you want me to do? Sing a song about it? <laughs> no, you're not making any sense. If you must know, you've got it backwards. It's you who has to become a human. Uh, for a time, anyway. This potion is going to make that happen. So, I need to swim to the surface, drink this, convince the prince that he should become a mermaid, and then we'll both swim back and drink this? <laughs> you sure do have everything figured out, don't you? Well then, go on. You're wasting precious time. But I still have questions. I'm sure you do, but I've told you too much already. The more you think you understand how this will work, the more likely you are to get in your own way and mess it up. Just do what I've told you and the rest will take care of itself. The magic knows what to do. All you have to do is let it. Right, do you say so? I do. Now go on, you've spent far too much time here. If you don't act now, you'll miss your chance. Uh oh, and if you have anything terribly important to say, I'd say it uh, now. <laughs> this doesn't feel right. I wish I could go home and ask Mom what to do. But George get angry with me again. That witch did seem to know what she was talking about. Just over this way! It's the same voice that I heard on the ship! Excuse me. Miss. Hello. Um. Were you here just a minute ago talking to yourself? May I ask your name? Oh. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm sorry. I... I didn't realize. Um, it's just that you remind me so much of... Oh, it doesn't matter. You weren't... <laughs> you didn't happen to see a mermaid around here, did you? You did? Where, where'd she go? Where is she? Yes, you saw her. Right where you're standing? Where did she go? She she went out to sea? Oh, there's no way that I'll catch her if she went out there. What about you? Where are you from? Oh, from across the ocean. You must have come a long way. Uh, have you been here long? Oh, well, I suppose I should welcome you. I'm the prince of this land. You already knew that. Well, then you have me at a disadvantage. You seem to know me, but I don't know you. Perhaps I've seen you somewhere before? I have. Oh, um, forgive me for not remembering. Oh, I suppose we must not have spoken. You're not royalty as well, are you? You are. Oh, forgive me. I, I'm so sorry, I should have realized. You do look like a princess, if it's not too bold for me to say. I must have seen you at one of those parties that my mom throws for me, trying to get me to meet other nobles. You must know how that is. No? You're lucky then. My parents want me to get married. Another kingdom. Forge alliances. But for all the princesses I've met, none of them have felt like the right one. Except there's this one, one girl. 
it's funny we we only just met. I was in a shipwreck recently, and and she saved me. She she found me here on the shore. She said that a mermaid brought me to shore, and and then she took me back to her home, and she fed me, and nursed me back to health after the wreck, and she was just so kind. It was refreshing. I tried to take her back to the palace to return the favor, but the guards wouldn't let her come here. I know that my parents wouldn't accept of our friendship, but but I had to see her again. That's, that's why I'm here today. Do you, do you want to meet her? You do? Wonderful. Come on, just this way. Ah! This potion can turn a human into a mermaid. There's enough in that bottle for two uses. Come in! Your Highness! <laughs> I didn't expect to see you again. Well, ever. Not that I'm not happy you're here, of course. I'm happy to be here, too. Your Highness, I'm Look, sorry. Don't I... worry, it's not your fault. It doesn't matter. I don't care about what happened at the palace. You're too kind. There's someone I want you to meet. I ran into her on my way here. Hey, come on out. <gasps> Something wrong? Th that's. But it, it, it can't be. Do you two know each other? <laughs> so it is you then? The, your Highness, this is the mermaid that brought you back. Only she's not a mermaid? <laughs> How is that possible? Magic. You wanted to see him again, didn't you? I, I can't believe this. That's how you were going to turn back. For you, and for him. I don't understand. What's going on? No, 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 you can't! You mean... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so, so much. You, you can't possibly understand how much this means to me. Uh, but 